welcome to this presentation this is the ninth in the series of short videos each featuring five multiple choice questions covering diverse unrelated aspects of psychiatry each mcq has four options of which one is correct brief information related to the questions will be provided these are the topics that will be covered in this video question 1 in psychology the ocean model is concerned with which of the following is it a intelligence b memory c personality or d trauma if you want you can pause while you decide your answer the correct answer is c personality so in psychology the ocean model is concerned with personality the ocean model is used to represent the five major personality traits the so called big 5 factor analyses of numerous studies have helped to narrow down several personality traits into a small group of five primary factors ocean is an acronym representing the first letter of each factor openness conscientiousness extraversion agreeableness and neuroticism i have given examples for each factor those who are interested can pause and note down the details question 2 which of the following is the most common ecg change induced by lithium within the therapeutic range there are four options please go through them if you want you can pause the correct answer is d t wave inversion so t wave inversion is the most common ecg change induced by lithium within the therapeutic range a is incorrect because lithium does not induce pr shortening but pr prolongation can occur in some patients on long term lithium treatment b is incorrect because qt prolongation is not induced by lithium within the therapeutic range but can sometimes occur in lithium toxicity c is incorrect because sinus bradycardia is the second most common ecg change induced by lithium within the therapeutic range the bradycardia may also be related to 
lithium induced hypothyroidism so the correct answer is d t wave inversion so lithium within the therapeutic range can induce t wave inversion similar to that seen in hypokalemia question 3 in which of the following psychiatric fields has network analysis been mostly used please go through the four options and make your selection the correct answer is c psychopathology a network analysis can study multiple psychopathological symptoms their relative importance and the dynamic connections between them the main unit of study in a network analysis is called the node the relationships between different nodes are mathematically analyzed and visually represented question 4 which of the following is not correct regarding firearm suicides there are four options please go through the options and make your selection if you want you can pause the correct answer is d so d is the statement which is not correct d is not correct because the most common site of the entrance wound in firearm suicides is the temple followed by the mouth the other three statements are correct so firearm suicides are more numerous than firearm homicides in countries with widespread ownership of firearms so as per cdc or center for disease control and prevention data in 2017 there were far more firearm suicides than firearm homicides and i have given the actual numbers in this slide b is also correct firearm suicides are several times more common in men than in women so in the us according to cdc data in 2017 firearm suicides were six times more common in men than in women c is also correct firearm suicides occur much more commonly due to acute life stressors than due to mental illnesses this has been shown by many studies so if a firearm had not been so readily accessible many may have been able to tide over their crisis and survived so the statement that is not correct is d the final question which of the following has not won the nobel prize in medicine or physiology please go through the options and make your selection the correct answer is a ml krepelin so ml krepelin has not won the nobel prize 
while the other three have. Emil Kreplin, one of the most famous psychiatrists, failed to win despite being nominated for the Nobel Prize several times. Similarly, Sigmund Freud, possibly the most famous figure in the field of psychiatry, also failed to win this award despite being nominated over a dozen times. The other three have won the Nobel Prize and I have given brief details about each. Those who are interested can note them down. That brings us to the end of this presentation. Hope you found the information useful. Thank you for watching.